Uh, the name Asiatics is a name that our, our producer Jay Chong came up with back in like 2002. And uh, at that time, we were, uh, well, I, I've been working with Brother Jay for, since 1998. And uh, we've been working together on music since then. And in 2002, he thought of this name Asiatics because we're making a lot of music out there in Asia, uh, just in different parts, you know, uh, Seoul, Taipei, everywhere, for the K pop, C pop market. So uh, he just thought Asiatics was a real cool name because, uh, you know, uh, shows kind of our background, we come from Asia, and that's what it basically means. And um, so uh, that name kind of stuck with us for a while. But uh, when we started this group, we just thought, hey, that name Asiatics fits us very well too. Because even though we grew up in different parts of the world, uh, born in different parts of the world, we got together in Asia. So uh, okay, let's do that. Let's, let's use Asiatics. So that's where the name came from. Asiatics, okay. Dang, did that. Big brother Jay Cho. Well, our group has different styles. Each individual member holds a different kind of style. And like for example, I would focus more on the hip hop, and Eddie here would focus on the R and B slash pop. Nikki Young here would focus on the R and B and soul. And I guess when you just put those together. Uh, it just forms something, you know, slightly different and, and, and it stands out. Yeah. Yeah. Our background, you know, we're, we're, uh, we have like sensibilities that hit both the uh, uh, East and West market because that's where we're from, you know. And that makes us really unique. Just put it together. to stand up, just handsome. <laughs> <laughs> we got the six pack under here. Under this one pack, we got the six pack. What, what, no, what makes us stand up? I'm just playing. Uh, what makes us stand up from the other groups is, uh, I think it, it really does go back. Uh, so I, I think, like what you said, Far East Movement, they have their own style, and and that, I think that's what made them stand out and, and become number one on Billboard. And I think that's what we're trying to do as well. We, we're trying to show the world our different style. And like Bosek said earlier, uh, our music styles, we, the music genres that we like and, and that we bring uh, when we make music is all different types. And uh, that's what we do. We, we put different types of music together and, and uh, we just hope that the people will vibe off of it. And, and, uh, we're very grateful that the fans uh, so far have been very responsive to our music and they've been enjoying it. So we're just going to keep doing us, I think, yeah, and just keep bringing what we need to do. I think, I think being ourselves is one of the most important things. Yeah, but we're not afraid to show that. Uh, fans seem to like us no. so much. And we, we got a long road to go, a yeah. long journey, but uh, uh, we're taking one day at a time, then a step at a time. We'll, we'll see how close we Um, musically, well, I, ever since I was growing up, I, I, I listened to an artist like uh, uh, Michael Jackson, Stevie Wonder, Brian McKnight. I mean, I, I love all of those artists and I really love them. Um, but uh, when, when we create music as well, like I think our, we, we draw influences from like uh, like our life experiences, um, some of the things that uh, uh, we seen throughout our lifetime uh, or uh, experience, you know, whether it be. Uh, a relationship, a broken relationship, or love, or or anything. We we, we, we draw inspiration from anywhere. So, um, like sipping away, you know that that's a very sad song. But I think that was uh, Eddie and Fosse's true love story. I'm just uh, playing. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, we had the throwers uh, right there. No, no. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking about? Definitely. What are you talking? About? <laughs> no, but seriously, on a serious note, we do we do uh, bring a lot of our own life experiences into writing music. So it goes back to what Fosik said, we're trying to bring ourselves, uh, we try to be as real as we can in our, in our music, and we just do us, yeah.
Well, we're just uh, wrapping up our first U.S. tour. Uh, hopefully, next time we'll have a bigger U.S. tour. And, you know, one step at a time. You know, and, uh, just one lyric, one song. We're probably gonna work on our new album. Uh, but upcoming uh, promotion is uh, we have our Japanese uh, single and, and our new promotion in Japan coming up. So we're really excited about that. And, uh, long term goals. Take over the world. Yeah. Let the forces come by one more time. <laughs> no, no. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, long term goal is just to. I mean, my. Well, for me personally, is to win a Grammy. Ooh. I mean, that's, that's not going to happen tomorrow. Yeah, long term goal. And just to continue to grow a fan base and, and to really uh, spread love and, and passion through our music to, to, to everybody out there. Hopefully we can be uh, the next inspiration for, that, for the, the younger generation. generation, for the kids out there. Uh, definitely we hope to use our music to do good. Uh, we want to spread love. Uh, we we want to give hope and, and, and you know give these next generation uh, a dream. You know that they can see us and be like, yo, maybe one day I can be like them. Just like when we were younger, we saw other artists and like, I want to be like them when we grow up. So that's what we hope to do. Be good role models for the kids as well because the position that we are in, uh, yeah, you know, even though we don't want to be role models, we are. And I don't think there's uh, too many good role models out there in, in the uh, Hollywood biz or the uh, music industry. So I hope we can change that and be the uh, be good role models for the next younger generation that come. So let's do it. You guys keep dreaming, keep dreaming, keep going. Well, we, we, we do a lot of jokes, we, 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 uh, we do practical jokes, and uh, in Minnesota, we were uh, eating some green tea ice cream, <laughs> and uh, Flo was actually taking a breather outside, so we, we, we got some wasabi and mixed it in with the green tea ice cream, and he got a whole mouthful, Why did you do that? And, and he, and he, trying to you know act tough you know he was like oh it's, it's fine you know was like, he wasn't he wasn't faced by we, we asked him well, how was the creepy he's like it's good man it's good it's good it's good, it's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. But his like his nose like flaring. Yeah, because we were enjoying that green tea ice cream. Then. And then we tried to get a Nicky home, but then, I don't know. Yeah. They tried to get me back, and then so I, I went outside for a breather, came back in, and then I, I wanted to leave, you know. And then uh, they're like, "Why don't we leave after you eat the ice cream?" <laughs> I'm like, okay, I'm gonna leave right now. So I, I knew they were up to something, especially when Flo was like, yeah, why don't we leave after you eat the ice cream? Well, we're definitely gonna get it. One day. One day. Yeah. I also got hit in the face on stage about two times. Oh. Like, uh, oh, it does, does his move, like, going to fly to the. Uh, I can't help it, I got really. It happened in New York uh, last year, no, no, like a few months ago. New York, and then we tried our best for that to not happen again, but it happened at um, LA. It happened in LA. It happened in LA. Yeah, and I was holding my mic like this, and then like he hit this, and then like it hit my lip. Almost broke his tooth, ladies and gentlemen. But uh, I'm we're used good. to it. We're, we're used to it. It's all part of the show, so all part of the live experience. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we don't sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, most of the time, like, like when we came out here for the U.S. tour, we were, we were actually, like, kind of working on jet lag, and we just didn't sleep. We were, we've been working on, like, uh, running around on one or two hours of sleep a day. Uh, that was pretty crazy, but uh, throughout our album, you know, sometimes our, our music just comes at night. It doesn't mean that we go out and party all night, but... Uh, at the recording studio, yeah, it's, it's always a party. Uh, when we're just hanging out, just chilling, when, when it hits around like one or two, three in the morning, that's when we have some inspiration. And that's when the songs come out. That's when we we'll start recording sometimes. So that's we're just trying to say that we, we, you know, we're hard. We try to work hard, no matter what time it is. When we're supposed to sleep, um, we're working. Like yeah, like even when we do need sleep, like during the tour. We're busy writing lyrics for our upcoming songs for Japan. Um, when they really want to rest, but because of their timing and stuff like that, we have to really uh, 
slug it out and work on a lot of material. So in general, yeah, we I mean, just want to try to work hard and try to show the No matter what anybody tells you, no matter how many times you get rejected, just just go after your dream and do what you need to do. And uh, if if music is what you want to do, don't ever quit because uh, it does get hard. Uh, uh, and and there are a lot of hard times, and a lot of times you'll be down here. And, and I've been rejected by every major record label that's out there. So it, uh, take it from me, man. It's it's not easy, but you 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 have a dream, you follow it. Don't ever give up. It, it'll happen, it'll happen, so stick it out, stick it out. I think, I think everybody has a moment. Everybody will have that one moment uh, that can take you to the next level. That's right. Um, J, J Brother, uh, our producer Jay, also said this as well. It's so true. That association is extremely important. Uh, who you know and who you're around and getting yourself out there and getting to know a lot of people. Just getting yourself out there. Right? Besides just the music. One last thing too. Um, what is it? Uh, if you want to do music, remember to do music because of the love of the music, not because you want to be famous, not because you want to make a lot of money, because the fame will be gone like that. The money, it can be gone like that. So always do what you need to do. Always do this music thing because you really love music and it'll take you somewhere. Daylight. 